Science with Folly. Kia ora. Welcome to Science with Folly. Today we are going to be learning about polymerization of alkenes. So firstly, what is a polymer and what does polymer mean? Well, poly means many and mer means repeating units. So polymer just means a whole lot of repeating units. And polymers are made up of monomers, which are one unit. And in this case, the units we're looking at are going to be alkenes. So any guesses as to what polymerization means? It means making polymers. So here is the simplest example of polymerization. Here we've got two, although we'd have a whole lot of them, two individual monomers. What are the names of these molecules? I think you've got it. Ethene and ethene. And obviously, would be lots of them. When they react together with some heat and a catalyst, the double bonds are broken and all the molecules join up to form this polymer called polyethene. So rather than drawing a really, really long molecule, because these polymer molecules can be enormous, we simplify them by showing the simplest unit. In brackets, an N just means there's heaps and heaps of them, number. And this obviously is the simplest unit for polyethene. So let's look at this one. We've got one, two, three carbons in this chain. So it's going to be propene being the monomer that makes this up. So lots of propenes, polypropene. Now sometimes we have to be able to identify the monomers in the large polymer molecules. So here is one here. Obviously it goes on for a long way in each direction. Can you see the repeating unit here? There's one, there's another, there's another. So each unit has one, two, three, four carbons in it. Four carbons, what's that going to be? Butene. And if we look at this, we could see that the double bond would have been between carbon 2 and 3, so it's but2ene. And we're going to call this polybut2ene. And you can see where I've drawn the individual monomer here, because this H is up and this H is down, it would have formed from a cis or a trans. That's right, it would be a trans but 2 ene Polymers can also form from halogenated alkenes. As you can see, this one's got a chlorine in it. Can you see the repeating unit here? There's one, there's another, there's another. Each repeating unit has two carbons and a chlorine, so what's it going to be? Chloroethene. Therefore, the name of it is going to be polychloroethene because our monomer is chloroethene. But this one also gets called more commonly polyvinyl chloride, or PVC, which I'm sure you've heard of. So thanks for watching Science with Poly, I mean Science with Folly. Hope you've learned something about polymers and polymerization. Ka kite anō. Science with Folly. Science with Folly.